Good morning, everybody. Uh, it's Wednesday, so hopefully I got four days off, and um, I hope everybody enjoys their family and um, good tables, you know, good happy tables, good breaking bread. So however and wherever you go to break bread with somebody and to reach out to somebody, you know, even if it's a neighbor or um, or a prodigal, right? So, you know how I've said before how God always, um, he lets me know what he's done after the fact. You know, he's, something will happen and I'll say like, why? You know, what is that? You know, and so then I have to wait. And then the next day or even later on, you know, he'll explain to me, uh, you know, I hear my spirit and through the word or, you know, people or whatever, pastors, different things. I get an explanation of you know, what God did, and what, what I'm supposed to learn from it, and what I'm supposed to get out of it, whatever. And so this happened again. And so here I am, I, you know, in my Jesus calling, and just because I like to, it just amazes me how the Lord uses that. He's just using that as a tool. You know, it isn't something that can become an idol. You got to be careful. But you know that uh, God uses that as a tool, for me anyway. And other people have different things. But anyway, so here we are, November 23rd. And uh, it says, as you go through this day, look for tiny treasures, strate str well, strategically placed along the way. I lovingly go before you and plant little pleasures to brighten your day. Look carefully for them and pluck them one by one. When you reach the end of the day, you will have gathered a lovely bouquet. So how funny is that? Um, you know, I've already put out yesterday when... Um, and actually after when I came home from work, there was nothing on my porch and, um, but I went to walk flash late at night and I look out and here's this huge, you know, one, 800 flowers bouquet box. And so I, you know, opened it all up and there was a little card and it had a little blessing, a little thank you. And you know, I love thing and, and, but there was no name. And so I don't know who it came from other than heaven. Right. <laughs> so, um, I'm so grateful. And I just feel so loved. I really do. And I just, and they're beautiful flowers. I've never seen such a bouquet such as this. I've never received such a beautiful roses and lilies. And it just, it's just gorgeous. So um, I want, I want to be grateful and thankful. And I am, but I also, um, you know, wanted to think about, you know, when, when God does something like that, what do you, what do you think about? You think about, well, you know, maybe that's, how do we, how are we, how should we be like God, right? And so to be thankful and grateful, whoever did that was thankful and grateful. And they're the one, they're going to be even more blessed than I am or than I was because they gave, you know, and so giving is what it's all about. If you're thankful for somebody or someone, you know, and it's good to give. Also, it's good to say thankful, say thank you. You know, but um, when you give up yourself and give up your heart, you know, um, and do what's in your heart to do something for someone else, someone that you may be really grateful to and really thankful for, someone that's blessed your life, you know. So I love you guys, and I hope you have a great Thanksgiving, a great holiday, and uh, don't forget Jesus loves you so much more. I'll see you later. Bye.